looking like he was cheaper to keep her because Tyrese, he's ordered to pay $636,000 in child support and legal fees to his ex-wife, Samantha. According to TMZ, he got to pay his ex-wife a quarter million dollars in back child support and $400,000 to her attorney. And this is all because he was calling out the judge, calling him racist, and he was going back and forth to court because he was not trying to pay that $10,000 a month. So he let it build up and build up and build up, and he had to pay it all at once. Bruh, that's one thing that I'm afraid of, especially if I become super successful and I meet a girl that ain't got nothing, a few years down the line, we have a kid or two, then she not happy no more, then she won't either half my money or she want a certain percentage so she can keep up with the lifestyle. But I never understand it. But you gotta you gotta put some blame on the men too. Of course, you gotta expect the woman to come in there money hungry. You gotta expect that. That's why you gotta be on your business. That's how I like what that soccer player did. Well, he put all his stuff in his mother's name. His wife divorced him and she didn't get nothing because it was legally not in his name. Bruh, I don't know why Tyrese, bruh, he was thinking with his little man. He was thinking like, damn, she look good. Fall in love. He probably promised her, I'm going to take care of you, this and that. Don't got nothing in common besides you think she attractive and you like to have sex with her. That's what be wrong with these men. They be finding these girls and they got the intention of, I want his money. He flaunting the money. So it's like, let me go ahead and have a kid by this nigga and rob him. A legal robbery. That's what these girls be doing to these athletes and these rich niggas. Legal robberies. That's why you shouldn't be so quick to marry it. Because a lot of these dudes, they marry because they want to hurry up and lock down the girl. Not because they want to be with her forever. They just don't want no other man to be with them. So they lock them down and not thinking long term. Before I get married, I got to be living with her for about three to five years. Like, fuck that. Three to five years. That's how you really know if they fuck you. And if that girl don't want to wait three to five years, let her go. Because nine times out of ten, she was going to leave during the marriage and you had to give all your money away. Crazy, man. Tyrese, he really going to be crying now. And he going to be saying, what more do you want from me all goddamn night? Crazy. He better go ahead and pay that money before it add up to a million dollars. Keep on messing with that judge. Man, what y'all think about this, your boy, B? Whoops.